Hello, traders, and welcome to TradingWithBill.com. It's a Monday, the 14th of May. <laughs> so, summertime is here. Hey, good to be with you all. Uh, really nice weekend. Um, hung out with my friend in Thailand who's a Forex trader on Friday. Had a great afternoon. Um, it was really a really good time. And, uh, yeah, very nice weekend. Uh, hung out with a lot of friends this weekend and uh, just had a good time. So anyhow, let's talk about the markets. Uh, Data-wise today, it's like nil to none. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of data today. So I had some feedback on my videos uh, this weekend, and one was that the numbers on my charts you can't see. So hopefully we fix that today so you'll be able to see the numbers. Uh, let's take a look at what's happening in data today. Uh, I'm just speaking over here. The dollar index is still at 92.35. We like that. Really, really slow today. We got a bunch of ECB members speaking. I think there's like three or four of them speaking today. Like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, really. We got FOMC speaking today. Just really, there's, there's like nothing coming out that's worth anything today. So let's take a look at what's happening tomorrow in Asia. Yeah, well, why are they, are they, they got a thing this week? <laughs> RBA Assistant Governor Dabeli speaks. Uh, RBA meeting minutes uh, tomorrow. That That's always a mover. Not a lot, um, you know, but it's always a mover. Uh, and then China tomorrow will be on air by them with industrial production in Asia tomorrow. And we'll talk about that uh, tomorrow. So, um, like I said, not a lot going on. Dollar index 92.35. Let's take a look at oil. Oil's been the talk of the month, right? So WTI is above $70.69. Brent oil is at $77.09. Um, so I'm in this mode here that, listen, you know, oil is going to do what oil does, but it's going to $75 or $80. I'm telling you, it's going to $80. It's going to hit $80. Um, the futures, uh, CL uh, futures in oil was um, on Thursday. I did not. I did, was not in New York on Friday night, um, but on Thursday it was above seventy. It was seventy sixty six, and that was about uh, just before noon on Wall Street. So currently it's um, seven oh nine in the morning here in Thailand. Beautiful day, bright blue, sunny skies, uh, warm. It's well, it's summertime. You could tell that. And uh, so that would be um, twenty oh nine on a Sunday night on Wall Street. So let's get to the charts, my friends. And let's see what we got going on. So uh, hopefully these numbers are better. But you know what? Let's try one more thing here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is look at this. This is the euro. You know, we always talk about the euro on a Monday. So what are we looking to do here? Um, you know, I, I really like this, this trade at 1980. 1980, I like this trade. To the downside, and that is my. Come on, there you go. Thank you. So you know, if if we can get this at this nineteen eighty spot, I think that's a that's a good sell. You know, we have a lot of forex junk left of the chart at current price. Our EMAs are there, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I think this can come down all the way to 1860, right? So this is over a 100 pip trade if it works. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. Um, so this is uh, this looks pretty good to me. I don't see anything out there that's saying that the euro is going to go to the upside unless the dollar takes a hit somewhere and the dollar gets weak. Well, then the euro is just going to continue to the upside. But right at the moment, I want to sell this 1980 19, 1980. This way, when we get into problems at 1960, you can see this is a line right here. Um, we'll be 20 pips in profit. You can go to break even, uh, plus three or four, and let it do its thing, and uh, let it let it do its thing. And hopefully, we can get it down. It's not a quick trade. This one's not a quick trade. This is going to take some time. This is definitely going to take some time. Let's take a look at the pound. Looks like the pound uh, went a little bit to the downside in the U.S. session. 
So it's hanging out there. It's, you know, we talked about this last week that this was just in a, a nasty area. It was sideways, a lot of uh, Forex junk, right? Look at all this stuff here. We don't want to trade this. This is just not tradable. This chart is ugly, 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 ugly. You know, this is just, right? Look at this, folks. Right? Boom, right? And then we'll do one that support, which, you know, your first level is right there, which we already have a line in that. Um, so nothing. There's really nothing uh, for us to do here. Now, if you wanted to take it at the top of this range, that's not a bad thing, but realize that there's so much stuff in here you're going to get whipped around here. And as long as these moving averages are entwined with each other, don't even go there. Just leave this alone. There's nothing to do with the pound dollar. Leave it alone. It's not tradable. And what I'm seeing here is probably not going to be tradable probably till the middle or the end of the week. Unless something happens where something comes out where it moves in one direction or another, there's no trade here on the pound dollar. Let's take a look at the New Zealand USD. Um, nothing here either, right? This is, this is in a range, right? This would be, if it does come down, that's a nice buy there at, uh, 69.10. That's a nice buy there to the upside. Uh, a sell, if we wanted to sell this, right, we want to come down to there. So we basically got a, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of what's going on here. But right at the moment, again, my friends, there is no trade here. None. Now, we do have a little bit of a wide open space here, which, you know, I like my wide open spaces. So this to me looks like if this breaks, if this breaks, I didn't see that before, by the way. But if this, if this does this thing here, right, trend line, we always want, you know, we'd like to get three touches out of a trend line, right? So if this breaks this trend line, I think, I think you have, I think you have a trade here. I think you've got a trade here. Let it break this trend line. We'll take this down. Get in it at 69.60. Get out of it at 69.10. So nice 50 pip trade today. Is it doable today? I would think so. If we can break that trend line, get those moving averages. We want angle and separation on the moving averages to the downside. I think we have a trade here on the Kiwi today. Um, I would start looking at this probably about an hour before the uh, London session, and uh, we might be able to get in this for London. That would be sweet. That would be very nice. Your Aussie, I don't see anything. Um, right, so you're looking at here. The problem with this trade is you got a bump that's 200 exponential moving average. This green line, and if you if you look back here, you can see that this 200 has held up pretty well um, against price action. So what we're going to do here, <laughs> there's really really nothing to do here. This really needs to give us a pretty stern pullback. And we we talked about this before that the Euro Aussie once it's in a mood, it's in a trend, it just stays that way until it decides to reverse itself. And this just looks to me like eh, maybe sideways and then continue to the downside. Um, so I'm not going to do anything here. Not, really, there's, there's really nothing to do here. Again, the moving average is intertwined there, the lowering moving averages, and the 200s right there. Um, yeah, nothing to do here. Maybe we get a pullback to that 58.90 area right here, 58.90 area, and then we can sell it from there. That looks like the best shot. So we'll, we'll, we'll just keep an eye on that, see how that goes through the day. Let's take a look at the beast. Pound yen. Yeah, look at this. We talked about this last week again, remember? And this is just not doing anything, my friends. The pound just doesn't isn't doing anything. Um, this is sideways. This is not doing it hasn't done anything in, in two two trading days since you know since this move here. So nothing to do here. Absolutely nothing to do there. Uh, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. I like this. I like this. I like this, right? Nice setup here. 
right? We got data tomorrow. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this. This looks nice, right? Let's get this to retest this resistance level. We got these EMAs and price the EMAs right under price. So this isn't going to happen quick. And if, and if it does, you're probably going to have to wait and really get some confirmation. Confirmation being a, you know, let it drop below the resistance level at 75, 60. Maybe give it a retest back up to it. Or wait for this to drop below that 75, 40 area and break through this 55 EMA and then just take it to the downside. That looks like, that looks like the trade to me. The other issue is, which we're not there yet, but if you wanted to buy this at some point, if it comes down to there, we could take this to the upside at 74.30. So got some options here on the Aussie dollar. Keep an eye on it. We, my bias is bearish, right? My bias is bearish on the Aussie dollar. They don't want their currency at 75.55. Trust me. You know, they want their currency at 67. <laughs> they don't want it up here. This is way too high for them. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But it's a commodity fest. We gotta we gotta watch out for that. Traders, um, that's it for Monday. Let's take a look at the dollar index. Yeah, it's to the downside here. It broke out of our range. Here was our range we put in last week. So that means that's out of there. That's a void. That's a void. Yeah, uh -huh. that is definitely a void. Get rid of those. And we see what we're going to do. Yeah, so let's see what happens here. So this is probably why the euro bumped up uh, because of this weakness in the dollar index. And let's see if this continues to the upside and what we're going to do here. So that's it. Um, everything looks good. No news today, my friends. It's a technical trading day, and I like a technical trading day. Traders, uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning in Asia. Traders, always remember to trade smart, not hard. We'll see you tomorrow morning in Asia. Take care, my friends. Have a great trading day. Bye-bye.